Jack looks like a bitch. Right? Oh, one of my car looks like a bitch. Lost the car tech, but that's the first good one of the year. Another two bonder probably. Very good. Yo, 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 welcome back to my fishing channel. I know it's been a while, but the ice has finally melted up here in northern Michigan, and I was able to get back out fishing, finally. It melted just before Easter, and I was able to get out uh, fishing the day after Easter. It was about 70 degrees, but the water was still frigid, and I wasn't seeing anything. Bluegill, minnows, bass, no beds, nothing. Uh, so it was a rough day. I was out there for about four hours, no bites, throwing everything I got. I mean, I literally had every tackle box I have, and I literally threw everything I had out there. And uh, I was getting, I came in, and it was real windy. I seen a little pocket that was blocking the wind, and uh, I said, "You know what? I got one last lure to try." Uh, so I gave it a shot, and uh, it worked. Must have landed right in a school of them too, because it wasn't just one. I was catching you know, one after one after the other. Uh, and I'll show you a video of some of the catches uh, here after this to show you the lure works. Uh, it's not that not that big of a deal as far as the video goes. Uh, it was a bunch of two pounders or so. I'd say nothing. There's nothing huge, nothing super little either though. Uh, but what I went with, what I decided to go with for the last shot was something red because they say red lures you know in uh, early spring or pre-spawn period red colors seem to work good and i know it's almost may but in northern michigan early spring for us is a month or two after the spring equinox so that's why i'm still calling it early spring and the water was so cold um so i went with that cold water red early spring pre-spawn color and i used the kai tech the fat Kai Tech. Uh, it was only the 3 8 inch one, though. They make them all different sizes. Uh, they do get bigger than this. I think they even get smaller than this. But this one was the 3 8 inch Black Cherry Swing Impact Fat Kai Tech. Most of you probably know about these. Some of you may not. The people who do know about them may know about them, but never threw them. And that's, that's what category I fell into. I just never had thrown them. I knew they worked. I'm just not a soft plastic kind of guy, so... They were always on the back burner in the tackle box, uh, waiting for a day like this, and it came through. It really shined, and uh, I threw it on a weedless hook, just a the VMC brand heavy duty swim bait, four out uh, hook with a one eighth sinker on there. That's what the package looks like. Hook held up well. I never lost a hook. Didn't break my line or anything. Uh, but out of the package, the hooks got a bait holder on it um, and what you do that's where the Kitex screws into you slide it through and it's weedless comes through like that which I'll show you in a minute um, but to stay on the bait holder real quick that's another reason I went with the VMC brand is because that one had the it seemed to be the most heavy duty one on there and those Kitex aren't cheap so I didn't want one with a chintzy bait holder which just may be chintzy I don't know I know you can buy real heavy duty ones and this comes off and you can put them on there so you want the most durable bait holder you can get so you can catch the most fish out of each kai tech because those things are not cheap it can add up quick uh, but when you rig it up this is what it looks like right here it's real awesome man so much action off of that thing but i mean you barely tap this and it goes from weedless to not weedless so when that fish hits it i mean that hook is exposed you're setting the hook and you're going to slam them. Um, it's actually got a little line. I don't know if you can see it. But it shows you where to line the hook up at. Right when you bring it through. Uh, the way I was fishing it. I know you just. It's just a cast and retrieve type lure. Is probably how most people throw it. Or how it's designed to be thrown. Um, but you can always throw it different ways. And I was catching them. Throwing it like a rubber worm. I would cast it out there. And uh, let it sink. Once it sank, I'd reel in the slack, pull the rod tip up very slow because the water's cold. So everything I was doing was slow, was cranking slow, wasn't twitching the rod real fast or anything. So I just pull it up nice and easy like you would a rubber worm, let it drop again, crank real slow. I mean, I was real slow cranking. And uh, so I caught a few on the crank real slow, but most of them came on the drop down. So after I lifted the rod tip up, pulling that minnow or swim bait off the bottom, 
as it continued to fall after that lift is when I got most of the hits. But it, it absolutely crushed them. It's a great bait in the cold. Reel that thing in slow, drag it on the bottom, over the logs, everything. Uh, really, really nailed those bass, or school bass in the cold water. Uh, so I definitely give this lure 10 toes up. Recommend trying it. Works all year round. This just happened to be the thing to work in the super cold water right after the ice melted. So I'll definitely be going with this next year as uh, one of the first things I throw. Uh, let me go ahead and load this video up, show you some of the catches here. I got a new GoPro too, so I'm interested to see what it's like with two cameras and different views now. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you get a Kytec because you will enjoy that. Uh, if you like the video, like it. Uh, click the subscribe button too. Good luck fishing and until next time, um, that's all I got. So we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Good one of the year, right there. First hog, first hog of Julia. That's a good one. He's not super big, but he ain't no dink. We're gonna say two pounder. Definitely rocking this Kytec until it falls off, baby. <laughs> <laughs>